drip mode, Nurburgring mode, Lapiz Blue Metallic, and the last year for the manual, this is the 2024 Volkswagen Golf R here at Volkswagen Brandon in Florida. And we gotta take you around this beautiful thing because this is a spec like no other. With that said, let's get right to it. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video where behind me here today at Volkswagen Brandon in Florida is a beautiful Lapiz Blue Metallic Golf R. You guys know this is the showstopper right here. This is what you guys love from the VW brand the most. And I have to show it off to you guys in this beautiful spec because we don't get too many Lapiz Blue Metallic paints here at Volkswagen Brandon. So obviously very limited on these kind of models. And with the Golf R, being the last year they're offering the manual transmission, well, obviously, you guys are gonna love these a little bit more. Now, we do have the seven-speed DSG automatic here behind us here today, but loaded up with options, very approachable, drip mode, and obviously the Nürburgring mode, exhaust sounds phenomenal. So with that said, let's take a look at this thing, let's spin around it, let's see what it's all about. Always, biggest shout out to Volkswagen Brandon for letting me take a spin around this 2024 Golf R. Now, if you guys want this car, make sure you guys check the links in the description, get their website link, their phone number, get this car or any other model they have on this lot and take these beautiful cars home. And when you mention the dimensions, you're looking at a total wheelbase of 103.5 inches with a length of 168.9 inches. You have a width of 70.4 inches and an overall height of 57.7 inches with a total curb weight of 3,465 pounds. Now, since we have the automatic here, the performance side is gonna be a little bit different than the manual per usual. So what are we looking at? Well, we still keep that front engine all-wheel drive set up for this four-door hatchback with a turbocharged and intercooled DOHC 16 valve inline four with an iron block and aluminum head with direct fuel injection. Now, the power is gonna be 315 horses with 295 pound-feet of torque out of the seven-speed dual-clutch automatic. That's gonna rocket you from zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds with a zero to 100 miles per hour time in 10.3 seconds, a quarter mile time at 12.6 seconds at 110 miles per hour and a 130 mile per hour 19.1 second time with a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Would you look at this thing? The P's blue metallic. Now, the sun's gonna go in and out with a little bit of overcast today, but that's okay because this paint still shines per usual. And the Golf R, well, it already has so much character, so much flair, you can't help but to stop and stare. Now, you guys will see right here, starting with the front face shift, what we're used to for the Golf R, which is really cool, is that we have the VW logo here as usual, right? But Instead of a red strike through, we have a blue strike through to match with the Lapiz blue paint. Keeping with that, we have gloss black that goes with the rest of the moniker of the car. And then the LED light bar will see illuminated very shortly right here up front. So that keeps with the whole flavor of this car. Now that LED light bar goes right into the LED headlamps and that blue stripe goes all the way through. The strike through is all the way through. So again, it's a lot of symmetry when it comes to this model and flowy lines to keep this very round curvature look when it comes to the design language. Now you guys will also see in the lower half, you will see that Lapiz Blue curve right in and cut right into the gloss black lower fascia. As you guys will see, it looks really sporty when it does that aspect, gives it some aggressiveness as well. And obviously this is a functional grill up front because we gotta do a little cooling in this thing when we're performing. Now, don't forget that on this side, we have the R badging, letting you know what model we're working with here today. So then you take a step back, you look at it on, and by gosh, it is beautiful. Now the side profile looks just as good, but we love, we love these 19 inch alloy wheels, right? Check those out. With the drilled rotors, blue calipers with the R badging to match. I mean, come on, performance tires right here. This is a great setup when it comes to the shoes, matching up with the actual side mirrors because the aluminum wheels, you guys are, sorry, alloy wheels. You guys will see the silver mirror caps to match up with it. You will see in the front fender, the R badging with gloss black, keeping again with our livery we have here today. And then you guys will see the side skirt is also done in Lapiz Blue. I'm glad they didn't change it to black. They kept it with Lapiz Blue to keep that whole same flavor going throughout. 
B pillar done in gloss black. We have the glass roof, as you guys will see. All right, and then the gloss black shark fin antenna with the spoiler done in lapis blue and gloss black. I like the two tone there. You guys will see how functional it is there and how aggressive it is. And we'll see it again from the back. But take a look at all of it together. That is a beautiful car, my gosh. Now check out the rear profile because wow, does the rear of this thing look so good, so aggressive, so sporty. We talked about that rear spoiler as you guys will see. Looks really cool hovering over the third brake light. And then you come down, you'll see the VW logo, but that's the bragging rights right there is the R badging right underneath. You have the LED tail lamps, which we will see illuminated in just a moment. And then you come down to the best part is the quad exhaust chips. Yes, that beautiful sound that we heard that is where it came from and the very aggressive gloss black shark fin diffuser putting all this together with the lapis bloom this is just the best spec for me i mean wow how incredible does that look now in the rear when it comes to space we'll push the vw logo in doubles as a latch for the trunk about 20 cubic feet of space in the rear you guys will see that we have our privacy shade here we have a 40 60 split when it comes to the rear seats they will fold down and a center feed through we have our beautiful floor mats here done with the blue outline and yes, the R tab here done for the R models. Now you guys will also see, we lift this up, we do have a false floor and you guys will see that we have all of our tools, our uh, first aid kit, everything underneath here, very nicely stowed away. Little side pockets there too, just in case you wanna put in any kind of standing bottles, you know, like car wash bottles or anything like that. They can stand straight up here. You don't necessarily need to get a cargo net to stand them upright, which is a very nice thing. Now, when it comes to fuel economy, you're looking at 25, 22, 31. That means 25 combined seating highway, 22 for the city, 31 for the highway, and Volkswagen wants premium fuel inside of this Golf R. Now, of course, we gotta show off the lighting signature as you guys will see with the full LED light bar going across. You guys will see also the light bar going right into the headlamps with the LED switchback turn signals done in amber and bright white. And then obviously the LED lighting right there for the headlights as well, looking beautiful, right? That is such a clean look. Now you will also come to the mirror cap and you guys will see the amber turn signal right there. And then come around to the back and you will see the illuminated tails with the turn signal there. Man, that's such an aggressive looking rear especially when it's illuminated. Now, before we get started, beautiful gloss black key with the BW logo there and chrome surround. And then you have the panic button, lock, trunk release, and unlock there as well. And then you look inside and we have beautiful Napa leather, Titan black, carbon gray inserts. Look at this, heated and ventilated seats. So we, yeah, we got heating and cooling in these sports seats. The R badging that is embroidered right there. I mean, come on, this looks absolutely gorgeous as you guys can see. Now, before we actually get into it, also keep in mind we have a 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster and a 10 inch touchscreen, climatronic for the climate controls. I mean, all the good stuff, Harman Kardon sound system. Check out the aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal and gas pedal with the rubber inserts for extra grip. The R badging here for the monster mats as well, seat memory controls and everything here, but these seats, are just awesome with the blue piping and again carbon gray inserts and then look at that that is such a beautiful seat you guys will also see the big sunroof there as well now we're gonna hop inside get it started up and then we can talk about all this stuff before we do that you guys can see the gar carbon gray inserts on the door paneling here and again harman Kardon speakers soft touches on the armrest there as well and the aluminum door handle close that up you also see that harman Kardon speaker right there in the pillar all right and then foot on the brake start stop button now we're to live now this thing is beautiful with the r steering wheel flat bottom also heated perforated leather on the side paddle shifters right there that are mounted to the steering wheel the r logo right here with the blue black and the gray or i want to say more of like a carbon gray insert there as well how awesome is this spec so far guys looking at the top you'll see soft touches in black you will see the carbon gray inserts going across the dash you'll also see the hvac vent seamlessly going from one side to another in a very stylish way glove box here as well then you guys will see the monster mat there again on this side here you will see our adjustable 
a seat um, pull there. And then you also see up top, we do have our controls for our sunroof for the glass. You will also see the dome light, floor lights, everything in there, up there, SOS. See if that can focus it a little bit better there. There you go. Now you guys can see that a little bit better. And then we do have a visor with the light there. Now, where do we start here? First, let's adjust our steering wheel. All right, so I can push in, pull back and go up and down wherever I would like it, wherever is most comfortable. All right, then on the left-hand side, you guys will see that we have our lighting controls and we have our windshield wiper controls on that side. Haptic buttons, so you guys will see that. So on this side here, we have our driver assistance controls and we have our R button. What does our R button do? It takes us to race mode. All right, valves open up a little bit. So that's what the R is for. And then you guys will also see that we have volume controls for our radio. On the right-hand side, hands-free controls. All right, heated steering wheel. We have our menu controls for our configurable instrument cluster. And we have our track controls where we can change the stations or tracks to the radio. Now, keep in mind, when we do all that stuff, we'll get into that here. But on the left-hand side, you can see we have our max rear and front for our HVAC there for climate. And then we have our lighting controls and our fog lamps there with everything else on, or you can press mode and you can change it however you like when it comes to your lighting there, all right? So that's beautiful when it's mixed in with the instrument cluster here in gloss black. I love that paneling and how it seamlessly flows over. It connects everything when it comes to the 10 inch um, infotainment screen. Now let's go into this because we can configure this, right? We talked about that by pressing view. We can change a few things up. So this is just me pressing view going through different menus here. As you guys can see, the uh, navigation and everything's there, driver assistance and all that is there. So I can do that. Or I can press left and right, and I can change things that are on the left and right hand side of me. So let's go to the boost R mode. So you can see the PSI there. Let's go to the right. Let's go, well, G meter was nice, but let's go to torque. And we'll go into torque. So now we can see our torque and boost on that side. So a bunch of different things you can do when it comes to that. Now, before we get into that there, let's talk about what's under it. We have a wireless charging pad right here. And then we have our USB-C plugins, all right, for charging. Start stop button, as you guys saw. Little storage pocket. I always say put your phone right there. It fits in very nicely or your key fobs. Then you have your park button with drive mode selector. So I'm in drive, I'm in neutral and I'm in reverse. Reverse will bring up the beautiful parking camera there as well. And then P for park, electric parking brake right there. Cup holders right here in the middle, 12 volt right there. And then the armrest with the beautiful blue stitching. Open that up, just a normal armrest there. Now, coming over, you will see, again, we talked about this whole setup, 10 inch infotainment screen, which is beautiful as always so seamless look at that i mean it just the, the graphics the transitions the way it flows the way it flows is the best okay so you guys know this system very well you do have your heated and ventilated seat controls here as well as quick controls um but yeah this is really nice i love this as always um i'm not gonna go into the vehicle and spin it around like i normally do but you guys can do that and when you do all the you know all that um you can see that we have our hvac controls here radio controls here these are the haptic buttons so you can just tap them and you see it will change all right so you can do that there oh uh, you can also have your assist button there all right, four, driver assistance, parking controls there, climate here, and drive mode selector between comfort, sport, race, drift, which, yeah, you got to activate that. They want to make sure you want to go into drift mode. And then, and then uh, Nürburgring, a special mode they have there, which is the most aggressive mode to me. Um, so you do have all your drive mode selectors there with the hazard buttons right here. Again, a beautiful place to be when it comes to the Golf R. Um, I always say that this one, if you want a hot hatch on the market right now, this is the one to go for. There's not too many more options, and by gosh, this is the best one, in my opinion, hands down. Now, when it comes to the rear, we have that same Titan black leather interior looking so good. And the first thing you see, obviously, are the front sports seats with the blue going across the side and that carbon weave, which is really cool. And then my favorite part, even before we get in, the pockets for like phones or anything like that, gadgets, chargers, right up top. Then you have your lower pocket down here as well. But let's talk about these seats because we have the carbon accent trim with the black stitching, Titan black stitching, the blue leather right there in the headrest as well to match up with the blue stitching. All of that looking so beautiful in the rear 
just as well. We do have our nice Monster mats in. All right, keep it nice and protected. Door paneling, pretty simple here. All right, Harman Kardon sound system for the speakers, soft touches for the armrest, and aluminum for the door handle there. Little cup holder or extra storage space here as well. And then in the inside, you will see HVAC vents. All right, so we do have that with the LCD screens for our heated seats as well. We have two USB 2.0, not USB 2.0, USB-C plugins down there. And then you got a little bit of natural light from the roof there, all right? Then you have the LED lights right here, right over top of you. And then big armrest, pull that down, and you got cup holders. Again, not a bad place to be when it comes to the Golf R. Now let's break it all down with the 2024 Golf R and Lapis Blue Metallic exterior and Titan Black Leather interior and a 7-speed DSG automatic with 4 motion starting at $46,465. Now that's before your options and 1225 destination charge which gives us a grand total of $49,455 even. Now how do we get there? Well, no charge for your Lapis Blue Metallic exterior and your Titan Black Leather interior. That means free $99 for those two options. Now you also have the auto dimming rear view mirror with home link connection that is $405 you have your VW car net plus nav and speech five-year package $389 your 19 inch metallic gray alloy wheels with summer performance tires that is $350 and then you have your monster mats your floor mats at $296 with your VW care prepaid schedule maintenance contract $215 and your first a roadside kit roadside kit $110 those are your options for this model now Everything else you see, standard. When it comes to performance, when it comes to the exterior, the interior, safety and driver assistance, and technology and convenience, make sure you guys check the link in the description. Go on the website, see everything in full detail when it comes to all these standard features and your warranty, which is four years, 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. And you have a limited warranty against corrosion perforation at seven, or seven years, 100,000 miles. So keep that in mind as well. But with that said, what do you guys think about the Golf R in its 2024 model year? So at $49,455, what are you guys thinking about the Golf R for the 2024 model year? Are you loving this hot hatch more than ever, especially in this beautiful spec? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, but also make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also check the links in the description where you have Volkswagen Brandon's website and their phone number so you guys can get this car or any other models that they have here on the lot. Now, make sure you guys also click that notification bell so you don't miss one video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.